All right, so let's look at this one. Uh, a frictionless piston cylinder device contained five kilograms of nitrogen at 100 kPa, 250 Kelvin. Nitrogen is now compressed slowly according to the relation PV to the 1.4 power is constant. Uh, that is a polytropic process. That is a polytropic process, uh, and it reaches a final temperature of 160 Kelvin. Calculate the work input during the process. So the work to compress the boundary is the boundary work, right? The work to compress the boundary is the boundary work. We can calculate boundary work for a polytropic process. We have an equation that we'll, we will put on our formula sheet. Uh, here we go. Boundary work is P2V2 minus P1V1 over 1 minus N. All right, boundary work is, oh yeah, sorry. So if PV to the 1.4 is constant, it's a polytropic process, boundary work is P2V2 minus P1V1 over 1 minus N, or did you notice on that, that same page, we had an equation for if it is an ideal gas, we, we replace the PV with the MRT, uh, and so we had nitrogen, we can assume that's an ideal gas, um, all right, we have nitrogen, oxygen, CO2, we can definitely assume ideal gas. Do not assume ideal gas if it is a liquid vapor mixture or something like that. Um, all right, so here we go. Here we have another equation. PR uh, t times T2 minus T1 over 1 minus N. So P, sorry, MR, T2 minus T1. <coughs> excuse me. Over... 1 minus n. So, which of these should we use? Uh, well, well, we're, we're, told, we're told the pressure, uh, 5 kilograms. We haven't done much with our um, tables for ideal gases, uh, but we, we po possibly could find P2V2, P1, V1. But uh, if we know the temperatures, if we know the temperatures, 250 to 360, so it starts at 250, goes to 360. If we know the R for nitrogen from table A1, the mass, 5 kilograms, the N, what is the N? 1.4. All right, so let's, let's do this one. The mass, 5 kilograms. The R for nitrogen, that is in table A1. So property tables, table A1, the R value would be for nitrogen right here 2968 kilojoule per kilogram K or kPa meter cube per kilogram K uh, let's stick with kilojoule per kilogram K what did I say 0.2968 kilojoule per kilogram K uh, times this temperature change 110 Kelvin divided by 1 minus 1.4 all right so that cancels out that cancels out yeah kilojoules kilojoules all right now be careful uh, 0 0.5 times 0.29 uh, or sorry 5 times 0.2968 times 110 divided by uh, that's negative. I got a negative value here. Boundary work equals negative 408 kilojoules. What does negative mean? Negative means compression. For our equations, our boundary work equations, negative is compression. Positive is expansion. Most of our boundary work equations are kind of showing us the expansion, right? The boundary work we're getting out of a process. Uh, but this one was negative because it is compression. So the equations give us, so I would say 408 kilojoules in compression. Uh, that is kind of a work in the equation. Boundary work equations 
are generally for expansion. Generally, if they're all positive, they're telling us the expansion, uh, the work we're getting out of our system, the work done by our system. Okay? So this one, it was pretty straightforward. We saw that it was polytropic, so we had a polytropic equation. We had two polytropic equations. We decided to use this one because we were told the temperatures and it was nitrogen. Nitrogen is an ideal gas. Um, it was negative because it was compression. It was negative because it was compression. All right. 